Hi, right, what's up, y'all? Welcome to another episode of Pierre's Panic Room. You know how we do. We bring the hottest guests, the craziest people, my friends, whatever. You know, it's a good showing. So uh, thank y'all for joining, watching it, you know, clicking on it, and uh, we're going to do it as we normally do. First, before I start my show, you know I always got to uh, read some of the comments. My crew gets the comments together from what the comments you guys left, and we read them all. Good, bad, indifference, I don't care. We're going to read them. So all right, let's go first with this one here. This is from Marco. Oh, from the show I did with Marco. Uh, Rash Rashad. Uh, 417 writes he tried but Pierre is an OG in the game he was killing him with the back and forth salute the OG Pierre pod dope podcast I remember that yeah that's when the little, little Instagram dude came on here trying to clown me on my show on my show trying to be foolish if you're gonna try to be foolish with me brother it's on and popping all right so good looking out thank you uh Rashad 417 all right what else, what else we got from the Don't Pop My Coochie Stripper episode. Oh, man. Remember that, y'all? Woo-wee! That was hot on that one right there. That was some funny stuff. Shout out to my man, um, uh, Myron and Danielle, and my girl, Danielle, and D Dee Dee. Uh, very funny, very funny. Everybody was funny on that, man. Everybody was funny on that. My girl Tammy did a little something, and Kelly Kells. We're going to do some more of those right there. People liking those, uh, Judge. Deep nuts. All right. From that, uh, the Coochie Stripper, Serenity Goodridge writes, this was good, which... This skit was long. Oh, wish this skit was longer. Okay, okay. Please make more of these videos, Pierre. All right, so I'm going to try to read it one more time. You see it right here, but we're going to try to read it one more time. This was good. Which this, wish this skit, <laughs> I can't do it. If it's W-I-C-H, woo-wee. Okay, we, we get with it. But thank you, uh, Serenity Goodridge. It was funny. We're going to do some more of those. All right. Yeah. Um, from the phase on one, phase on brought the funk. Man, you know, phase on always going to bring it, okay? You're going to bring it 100% all the time. Ar, would it be Arshan? Arshan Wade uh, writes, so glad I found your show. Keep up the good work. Always a fan. I appreciate that. Thank you so much, Arshan. If that's how you pronounce your name, if not, I apologize. All right, y'all. Again, thank you so, mo so much. Don't forget to hit the notification bell bing, and or subscribe, please. Um, the numbers are going up, so you like to, you know, you're liking what you're seeing. You know, it's great that I get a chance to bring my friends here, man, to bring them on stage and bring them in studio. We're not doing, you know, Zoom, which no disrespect for shows who do Zoom, but we bring them in the studio, okay? We do them right in the studio. Let's talk it out. All right, y'all. This next comic man shot the stardom in the early days of Comic View. Very, very funny man. Um, you know, he's one of the cops that got a catchphrase, but he's more than just a catchphrase. Um, one of my favorite guys. What a good, this is a good person, man. And people say, hey, man, I ain't heard from him in a while. Once I mentioned his name, they're like, oh, man, that's my man. What happened to him? Where he been at? So I wanted to make sure I brought him on my show. He was gracious enough to come here, y'all. So give it up for the one and only Mr. Jamario, Jamario! What's happening, baby? Yeah, boy, look at you looking clean, boy. What's happening, baby? Are, are, you, are you bringing gifts, too? Hold on. Yeah, man. Happy New Year's. Well, well, this yeah, is well, from well, us. Okay, okay. From the thank family. You. Thank you so much. Okay. Oh, man. My liver the... thanks you, too, and my, and my diabetes and all that good stuff. Yeah, thank you. That's man, all right. This is nice. You like this, man? I have a question, though. Well, what's, the, what's the question? Why is warm right here and every, everything else is cold? Oh, well, because, uh, damn. I, I, I just want to know about that. Well, that's the hot seat. That's what's called, the hot seat. Because you're going to keep it hot and you keep it rolling with us. Yeah, man. Look at you, brother. You still, man, you ain't changed at all brother nah, for real man. though you're still, you're still looking young man you have to man as long as you got god you gonna always look young but well, well some people on cassette ain't got god then because well, well, old yeah people i've me. seen them like <laughs> damn nicole on my show too i get to talk about it but no man good yeah. good to have you jamario thank man. you for having me man man i said when atlanta's finest man because i didn't know you actually from atlanta yeah, I, I grew up um, southwest Atlanta. Grew Ooh, right at the hood for some of y'all. Well, uh, Bankhead Court. Ooh, and, um, the hood, hood. Went to Harper High. Started hood, my, hood high, high school. Started my career here. Uh, hood, hood. <laughs> started at the Comedy Act Theater, which is, came from um, L.A. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you started at the Comedy Act Theater? Yeah, yeah. That was yeah. the first black comedy club. Shout out to my man, uh, Michael Williams. Yeah, who started, yeah, he had a club yeah. in uh, L.A. with Robin Harris kind of helped build. Yeah. And he also opened one here. Um, that's the first time I did see you. You're absolutely right. Yeah. But we, the, we, me, you go way what? back. We go way you know, come back. On. I know a little bit about Jamario. Most people don't know uh, nothing about Jamario, yeah, but man. I know a little bit about Jamario. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. So let me ask you. All right. So you started out here. What made you think you could be a comedian at all, man? You know, well, you know, kid? I, I've been in the business since 
when I was in ninth grade, eight, what? 82 and 83, I was, I was doing talent shows, man. I came in the industry uh, very young, man. But what were you doing on talent shows? I was rapping and acting. Hell no. What, what was your rap name? What was Jamario Jamario's? That could have been your name right there. Give it up. Uh, Jamario, well, Jamario. you know, um, at that time, I had a, I really didn't have an identity at the time. I just had a different type of uh, stage name. I had like MCG. MCG. Okay. Uh, okay. That's, that's original. My, my friend Gordon Scales, them, <laughs> we was like, uh, was a group called, uh, they had a group called American Gigolos. Gordon, I think I know Gordon. You know Gordon, yeah, 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 yeah. I know yeah, Gordon, yeah. I talked to Gordon not too long ago. Yeah, yeah, so he had, they had a group called, called American Gigolos, and then I spent it all called Gigolo Cool. That so, was your name, Gigolo Cool? Yeah, yeah Gigolo Cool, that's uh, what. Let me, let me, let me Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for the one and only Gigolo Cool. Yeah, that was the high school stuff. Oh, okay, okay, it 80s, just, that'd be 80s, that'd be 80s. Yeah, and then um, <laughs> some friends of mine, we was, uh, Rodney Watts and his brother, rest in peace, Carnell, they had a, their name was catchy, you know, they had that, that name, that finesse, that okay. name. What was the name? But, you know, it was Rodney Watts, you know. And, Rodney uh, Watts, Carnell, okay. You know, okay. He was from Born Home. So his Ooh, name, home, he had man. a way saying his name. I thought, like, that, that was different. I wanted a, a name like that. Like Rodney Watts. Uh, you know, something that was strong. Strong. Rodney Watts. And the women were liking it. Okay, and, you okay. Know, I like, feel Rodney, you. Rodney, hey, Rodney, Rodney. I thought Rodney. like, oh, okay, this is some cool fly stuff. And okay. you know, he, you know, back in them days, man, you know, you, if you knew how to rock a talent show oh. and bring the noise. Ooh, the girls are creepy for you, they yeah, scream for yeah, you. They, yeah, they was like that. I was like, wow, that's, that's. And that's when, and that's when Rodney, uh, the cool G, uh, uh, the. the and, I, and I, and I, 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 and then Jamario came from there. Oh. I, I created, you know, Jamario was like. Um, Jamario's not your real name. No, my middle name was Jamel, and, Jamel. I, and I made Jamario out of that. Jamario, okay. And, but I didn't do it in, I didn't say it in high school, man, because everybody knew me by my real name. Oh, okay, knew you by so your real name. So I did Jamario away from the school. Right, now you came up in, in, you came up in Atlanta, and had a lot of talent. Did you come up with anybody in, in Atlanta, like anybody famous we know, like, oh, you went to school with, or you knew somebody? Yeah, man, you know, Bone Crusher went to you school. You know Bone Crusher? Um, I like Bone Crusher, uh, too. Bit Wrong. Big, a comedian, Big Rome. Okay, and Big King. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, uh, yeah, Judge wow. Hatch Hatchet, she went to our school. Judge Hatchet went to our school? Yeah, man, we had a class. <laughs> of, we went to the, I went to the legendary Harper High, where the legend was made, like myself. Harper High, I like that. He's like himself. Okay, yeah, Harper man, High. So um, I never heard of Harper High, but okay. That's right. not my fault. Uh, oh, I like that. He's <laughs> That's my not fault. my fault, baby. Right, 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 right. Yeah, but, wow. um. So, yeah. so you started doing the talent, the talent show. I was show. doing the talent show, and it turned into after rap. What, what made you say I'm enough rapping with the it cool wasn't, G? It, it was wasn't. It wasn't. It wasn't working. It was for me. Ooh. And then the comedy. Uh, well, a friend of mine in L.A. He was doing comedy. L.A. Well, everybody had initials in their names. And uh, he was doing comedy. He said, "Man, you need to try to do this comedy, man, because it will fit you." I'm like, "What? Well, are you because you were funny around him?" I was I was naturally fine. I was like uh, what they call I was running my mouth, talking trash, yeah, yeah, and yeah. always saying crazy stuff. And right. Had that natural personality, and, right. and um, he said, "Man, you need to try that comedy." I ain't doing that. And, and so apparently, he taught me into doing it. Who was popular in you know big time when you when you thought when you, who'd you, did you look up anybody? Was it before Def Jam? Was like Arsenio Hall, or Eddie Murphy? Like who'd you see to say I want to do this? Believe it or not, man. Um, Bob Hope. Man. When I, when I, <laughs> no, I don't believe that. Well, you know, Eddie Murphy was a big thing. So okay, I, so I, Eddie you Murphy. Know, you know, Eddie and Richard. You know, that was okay. That was right. Them. Yeah, to us, all of us. And um, when I started doing comedy, I started at the. Uh, well, I called myself starting at the punchline. Oh, and it was club. Okay. okay, it, it wasn't. They wasn't feeling me. They didn't relate to me. So I was like, <laughs> That's right. So. Uh, Comedy <laughs> Theater came in Atlanta in 88. And okay. um, somebody said, hey, man, they uh, got a black comedy club. Out right, there. sure. Said, you need to go check it out, man. So, right, right, right. And when I went through the doors, man, it was like, I'd never seen no comedy like that. Before. Right, sure. Right. Chris and, Charles, I think, was an MC. What no, he? Rex Garvin was host. Rex, my man Rex. Shout out Rex to Rex Garvin. Garvin. Yes, the first wow. person I saw on stage, wow. you know, at that time was Joe Torrey okay. and T.K. Kirkland. They had styles that I never seen. I ain't right. never seen those styles like that. Oh, yeah. And then. Um, they still got styles. D.L. Hughley up. came in. Right, and right, I right. saw all these different. And every day I was going up to the club and I ended up working at the club. Did you really? 
Yeah, I was working at the Comedy Theater, man. What, the, what was you doing at the Comedy Theater? Busting tables? Oh, uh, man, I was hosting. I, I was learning the business. and um, I, was See, I was hosting everything. and learning the business. Okay, that's two jobs. Okay, all right. Yeah, I was doing <laughs> I mean, I was uh, the host of the seeking people. That's what I was doing. No, but I, and then I, because I really wanted to learn the stage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, that's good stuff. I'm going to get Michael Williams. He's going he's gonna to come last yeah. next week, but I got to get him there. He's the godfather for, like I tell y'all sometimes, yeah. for comedy in L.A., Black comedy, you know. He what helped I mean? me out. Yeah, he was still uh, to this day. He's still giving me uh, some advice. advice. Yeah, no, no, no. Michael Williams is a good dude. Yeah. So okay, so you still haven't got on stage. You go up there and you look and you see it. Well, it took. You see, see at that time, man. Like uh, Michael's was very strict mm -hmm. with the with, with putting people up. Yeah. Right. So, cause you know you coming from L.A. So right. it, back them days, was it was about it was about L.A. comedians. Yes, I was one of them. Yeah. So you know mm -hmm. if you if. All his acts was, if they came to Atlanta, they was booked from L.A. LA right, right, right. He didn't do too much. Uh, L.A., Atlanta comic. He did Atlanta comic, but it was not like, if you want to get booked at the company theater, you had to go to L.A. Oh, wow. That's how Mike did. It right. just, he was right. very strict. And uh, it, it was just kind of hard for us to. Um, was it strict or he just wanted better comedy? Like, New Jack well, you know, at the time, man. like. You Come didn't on, know you, you didn't know what his plan was to later on. His plan was discipline the comedians, you know, to understand how to do the business. Okay. He was trying to keep us grounded. And what he did with me, he saw that I was very hungry. He saw that uh, I, was, I had patience. Mm -hmm. So he said, no, he said, you know, put him to the side. Mm -hmm. I, I'm, I'm going to work with him. He just, you know. Every day I came to the club, sat back, just wait for the opportunity, and uh, Rex Garvin was the one who got me on stage. Okay. Because okay. uh, we was out one night, and I was singing Johnny Gill song. My, my, my. Yeah, and that's right. how, and, and, and Rex thought it was hilarious. He said, I'm going to bring you on stage. So, Woo. and the way he set it up, he said, I got a special guest, y'all. He got the number one song called My, My, My. And women start like, yeah, oh, my yeah, God, who? Right. He's here, ladies and gentlemen, for a new edition. Y'all put your hand for Johnny Gill. I came from the back. Oh, no, people, long, people, it's a long walk, walk, too, boy. People were hollering and laughing. I started singing. I had this red jacket. Man, that just was crazy. And Pam, who was the manager, she thought that was so funny. She told Michael about it. And Mike said, he did that. So they started allowing me to go Nice. On stage mm -hmm. with different characters, mm -hmm. so that's how I end up going on stage. Now, is you say different characters? Is Jamario a character, or that's who you? No, what, I, what I did, uh, I did like holiday, holiday character, like Santa brother and Santa brother, New, oh. baby New Year and <laughs> stuff like that. Oh man, man. So, I understand. Okay, I, I but I'm getting, that helped me right, get on stage, right? The stage. Well, 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 what, what, were you nervous the first? I mean, were you scared the first time getting on stage, or had you done that rap? It was. You? It was. You know, you doing comedy. It's different. It's it's a different vibe. Okay. And you know, you don't know what you're doing. You know, you kind of like, I don't know what I'm doing. I, don't, I ain't got it. You know, I think it's gonna be simple. It's not that. It's so simple. when you did you would you one of the stories when you went up first? Did you bomb the first time you went on stage? I, was, I didn't do good. Mm -hmm. I didn't. I didn't get booed. Right. right, right, right. It's just like that so look. Atlanta, they don't boo too many people in Atlanta. Right, you know, yeah, you yeah. get that look. They like, look at right, you right, like, right. come on now, come on now. Uh, nigga, Wrap I don't up. know what you up here for. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> but it ain't comedy. <laughs> <laughs> but you, you wasting up a good drink. <laughs> right. <laughs> He's like wasting up a good drink. So, so what did you do when you first went on stage? Like, did you have material? What material did I you have? I didn't have no material. I didn't. What? I, I didn't. You got to. I didn't. My, my, my. That was it. I, I didn't know. That was what Rex did. He said, just do this little skit. And okay. that's, it took off from there. And then later on, then um, as I did the holiday, I said, you know, I'm ready to do my own thing. Right. So I started, I still ain't learned how to bring my identity for Jamaria. Right. I was still playing with it. And it took time to, to build that. Now, that, the, the energy you bring when you do Jamario, is that who you are or you turn it on to do that character or that person or that the it's my alter ego it's your all nice it's your yeah, alter ego so what ego. i did was um uh, i did a lot of research on things that will work would not work okay. i said what would work what would, you know so what i learned was i studied the audience because at that time um, we had different type of audience. Tuesday mm -hmm. night was like the thugs, the gangsters. Oh, yeah. Oh, amateur night. Yeah, right, right. So right. I wrote for what they wanted to hear. Oh, okay. And then I did the intelligent audience. I wrote what, <laughs> <Intelligent>. <laughs> what they wanted to hear. Right. Uh, 
Right, right. Okay, that's, I, I, to have that ability at a young time, a young comic, that's great, man, to be able to switch lanes. Some people don't know how to switch it up, you yeah, know what I'm so, saying? Um, so, no. So, when did the tagline, you know, you don't know nothing about no damn Jamario? Well, like, you know, a lot of a lot of my stuff just happened on stage. Like, like Jamario is Jamario. That came from stage. Okay, like, spontaneous, day, just popped off. Yeah, yeah. One day I was hosting, we all, we had, um, we alternate hosting. One day, I, someone was just yelling in the show. I said, look, damn it. This is my damn show. You don't yell in my shit. Nice. I am Jamario is Jamario. And Bruce, Bruce was the host. So Bruce thought that was so hilarious. Mm -hmm. He said, man, that's funny, man. He was just laughing. And the next time he hosts, that's how he introduced me. Wow. Okay. okay. So I had a lot of catch and phrase like, damn, damn, Jamario. I right. got that from uh, Heavy D. Right. When he was featured on Michael Jackson's album, Jam. When he said, jam, jam, and the b-ball stand, hot damn. I said, that's hot. Right, right. And I said, how can I flip that? I was going to say, jam, jam, Jamario. That's a nah, that ain't going to work. Right. And I said, damn, damn, Jamario. I said, okay, that Right, I like that. How are you going to do that? So when I did on the stage, it blew up. And, and you knew instantly some of that stuff was going to work or you had to do it a couple and times? I didn't know it was going to happen like that. Right. So um, the the uh, piece, y'all don't know no my Jamario, came out of nowhere because, you know, Fred and... um. Well, he, Fred McCullough, who's a pastor now, and Sean Walker, who was a role manager, they were kind of like, uh, they worked at the club, but they were kind of like, like to talk about people. Mm -hmm. So they had a night outside in the parking lot mm -hmm. just to talk about comedians all night, just Joan and talking about her. And I had this suit on, and it was talking about the suit I had on. It just, just dogging me out. <laughs> and Ed, who was security, he said, man, you gonna let them talk about you? I said, they don't, I ain't worried about them. They don't know nothing about no damn Jamario. <laughs> and Bruce Bruce said, that's hot. Take it to the stage. Bruce wow. did not want me to lose that fire. He said, just take it to the stage. Wow. So I took it to the stage, and I said, and the house came down. Doodle -doo Brown was the one who said to me, you need to keep that in your act. Nice. And uh, one day, back in the days when promoter used to come to Atlanta Mm -hmm. And you know, if you did a show in Jackson, Mississippi, where promoters would come from there, pick you up, take mm -hmm. you there, bring mm -hmm. you back. Mm -hmm. So me and Dudu had a show in Mobile, Alabama. Promoter came from Mobile, picked us up, took us down to Mobile. From back and well, mm -hmm. going and coming back, that's all Dudu talked about. He said, you keep that in your ass. That's hot, that's fire, that's gonna, that's gonna go to the next level. Wow. Wow. You, you own something. He right. does, oh, he talked about Like, next thing you know, when I did come with you, then that shit blew up. I yeah, didn't yeah. know it was gonna blow up. All, like all catchphrases don't blow up. So let me tell you, that, to find that magic in one, you know, yeah. I've seen a lot of comics try to say some stuff. That's like, this is, you know, this just didn't work. But that yeah. right there had a connection, a, a rhythm. I think, what is it about catchphrases? Like, they got to have a rhythm or something to it? Like I, think, I think, I think. Like, shaka daka, quack, quack. You, know, you said, Mikey, Mikey, you know. It's, Mikey, it's, Mikey, Mikey. Like, you know. um, we believe, you know, I'm, you know, uh, I'm listening to um, my, my wife got me doing the mm -hmm. Georgia Tech communication speaking. Cause you know, as a comedian, we gotta learn how to speak correctly. Right, so sure. I, I'm trying to get better at pronouncing my words better. Sure, so sure, sure. It's it's a thing, you know. It's 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 a rhythm. Ta 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 ta. Right, sure. Ta 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 ta. Right. So when I did, y'all don't know nobody know that Jamario. The, the, it was just ta 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 ta. Bam. Right. That's and true. So it it just and then. It got it to records, man. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow, wow, okay. It got it. So yeah, yeah, yeah. For shout out for Bruce, Bruce, for, for seeing that and telling you to go, because you might not have kept that. Yeah, you no, because I, I didn't, you know, when I did stuff, I like, whatever, you know. Right, I, right. I was on the next thing. Ne the, but, ne the next level. But Bruce said, take it to the stage. Let's mm -hmm. take it right now. And mm -hmm. when I came on the stage, I said, bam. I heard you had named a couple of comedians. Name a couple more comedians that you came up with in the Atlanta area. Oh, my goodness. That during man. your time when you were like an amateur oh, coming up. Man. You, you said Doodoo. -doo. You said Bruce Bruce. Oh, Ricky Smiley. Ricky um, Smiley? You, you, you was Earthquake. Ricky Earthquake was here, yeah. Um, some more chocolate. Monique. Nice. Uh, DC Curry. Wow. Um, some heavy hitters right there. Um. Who else? A Tim Murray, Black Boy, Nard. Wow. You came with um, all those cats? Yeah, I was last. I was a headliner. What? Yeah, I was the... the you headlined over them, people? All of them. Man, you don't know nothing about no comedy. No, for real. That, what happened, I was, a, I was a crowd favorite. Okay, I can see that. I, I was a crowd that. favorite. Right. And, and um, <laughs> Sherman Golden, Will sure, Ward. Oh, yeah. I don't know uh, it's, it's somebody else. Wow. Man. I had to come behind all of them every Tuesday night. Ryan Cameron, Wanda Smith. Uh, 
Shy McBride, Chris Tucker. Shy McBride, the actor. I people know he's a comedian. Yeah. Yeah. Johnny Slocum, Rex Garvey, Angela Means. And you held it down. Arnez J. Damn. I had to come behind them. Every That's why you day. legendary, man. People don't know that. Yeah, they had to put me last. Yeah, I, was, you, you, I thought they were being funny, though. Right. Well, well, they, they wanted to get on before you, two o'clock in the morning. No, what happened? No, that was. No, what happened was. Um, <laughs> <laughs> By me being a crowd favorite, okay. dude, I had a lot of women's support. Uh, I see that. I can see that. And Ryan Cameron had just, he was on, on V103, and he had just got hot with that. It's your birthday at that right. time. And he, I ain't seen him in a long time. And so mm -hmm. he said, hey, man, what's going on? Because he was hosting. I said, man, that's cool. He said, man, uh, I'm bringing you up next. I was number four. Monique. What? Monique went up. Well, the reason Monique went on, because at the time, Monique was married. She had she was a family woman, and she had a son. So she had a routine where she go to work, pick up her son, come to the club, and go pick up her husband. Wow. So she, that was her routine. Right. A lot of people didn't know that, but that's yeah. why she left early. So I had to come behind her. Wow. And what so, you about, yeah, yeah. So yeah. after that, people started leaving, and Gary, William, he never ever came in the club. He always in the ticket booth. He never, never, right, ever, ever, right, ever, right, right, ever right. came in Michael Williams' brother who ran the comedy club out here. So he went up to Bruce. He said, well, where everybody at? He said, uh, they came to see Jamario and they love. He said, Jamario doing like that? He said, Jamario about oh, to nice. be. Nice. He said, Jamario about to be the man. And that was the first time a uh, comic ever talked about how about me. About you. And nice. So Gary said, if he good, put him last next week. I want to see for myself. So I thought Bruce was being funny. You know, putting me last. Right, said, sure, you know, sure. Like, why are you putting me last? And it didn't, it didn't make a difference still. Ooh, we smoked, man. Let, let me tell you, I saw you about seven years ago, and I hadn't seen you before that in a long time. Mm -hmm. I was, you know, one, it, it was a hot night at a comedy club. I think it was, I don't know where it was, at some yeah. comedy club. And and I was, uh, it, it was at it was the, it was at the, the one on Marietta, Atlanta, the comedy act, no, what's it, what's it called? Uptown, 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 Uptown. right. Uptown. And so, you know, we all went up there and did our thing. And I said, oh, Jamal, I ain't seen Jamal in a long time. I didn't know if you still had it or not. Yeah. You know, again, I hadn't seen you. And I'm going to be honest with you, you rocked that sucker. Yeah. And I was trying to tell people, man, he rocked it. You know, you ain't missed a beat up there. So, yeah. so I don't know what, what no one, you know, yeah. you still around doing your thing. Cause, well, you know, I, I, well, I'm going to tell you, I, you I, rocked I, it. Well, that this, what I, this was my thing. This is what I learned. Mm -hmm. You know, you, when you've been in this business, you know, I, I didn't hang out with people with smoking weed and drugs. And mm -hmm. like that. Sure, I sure, sure. I was hanging out with cats that was doing. Shucky and I did a show in London. Shucky Ducky, shout out to Shucky Ducky, yeah. you know. We was in London know. one year, and Shucky and I were having a conversation. And Shucky said to me, he said, don't burn yourself out. Mm -hmm. Don't be all over the place. Don't always do television. Keep mm -hmm. it simple. But at the same time, keep yourself in demand and bring elements to surprise. Mm -hmm. Let people know you're still around. Mm -hmm. And I was kind of like, okay. And that's what I did. So, mm -hmm. you know, you might not see me right. one day. Right. And then five, ten years, you'll see me again. Right, right, right. But, but as long as you're still funny. Damn right. Because, right. you know, people come see me and I'm still funny, you know. You yeah. know, some comments you don't see for a while and you're like, man, what, ha what happened? Well, you, you know, know you, you have to learn how to... Uh, I can't think of the word. You got to learn how to do strategy. Oh. You got to know, like, time's going to change. The season's going to change. Yeah, but a lot of times people don't realize, like, I do overseas shows. I be in London. Yeah. I be doing yeah. shows. So, so just because you don't see me at your local theater or comedy club don't mean I ain't working. Yeah. Know, I'm still working a lot of other places, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it is, I, I've done cruises and stuff, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. So I'm working. Trust me, I'm working damn near every other weekend, you know, but just because you don't see me at your local comedy yeah. club, which I want to go back to some, go back to the comedy club, so I'm coming back to doing some of those. Uh, shout out to the people who are bringing me there. But all right, cool. Did you have any influences? Like, who, like who was uh, your, your comic influence that you saw? Because your style is, is so energized. Oh, oh, man. I can say, I ain't going to say influence, but I used to go get advice from. Okay. Like, um, back in the days, you know, when Jamie Foxx came. Jamie was the one who told me, always think out the box. Okay. Always do something no one's not going to do. Okay. Some stuff I did with the stage was weird, but. Mm -hmm. it, was, yeah, it was out the box, though. It was out the box. Yeah, and you just uh, put it back in the box, you know, when you got done with it. Jay Anthony Brown, <laughs> you know, I'll go Shut see up. Jay. Mm -hmm. Jay was writing for a senior hall. I mm -hmm. learned about writing technique. Okay. Um. Joe Torrey, I would go talk to Joe about 
stage president because he had that personality. Right, and, right, right. Sure. Um, DL, we would talk about strategy. Mm -hmm. uh, I go talk to Michael Williams, and Michael will always give me the the uh, uh, more l longevity where to take this joke and take it in 20 years from now. Oh, wow. Really? Okay. Uh, okay. Rex, uh, he was that brother that kind of like really talked to you. He said, you, 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 you like a pit bull. You need to calm down. Yeah, you know? yeah, was like, yeah. He was there, you know. So I had a lot of them. Advices like that. Yeah. Okay, so what, what was your experience like? Because you did Def Jam and Comic View, mm -hmm. right? Um, did you enjoy one more than the other? Was it a different feel between the two? You know? It was, both was a different feel. Uh -huh. It was a different, different feel. What man. was the feel in, uh, in, in Def Jam? Def Jam, you know, everybody wanted to do Def Jam because, you know, Def Jam to me was like the New York Yankees. Okay. The world's champion. Everybody right. wanted to be on that team. Right. Everybody wanted to bring, you know. Comic View was like NASA. NASA, okay, damn, okay. I'm, you know, because it was black on. And it, it was like, okay, we're going to let you, we're going to let you use our launch pad, all right, okay. you know, to take off. You put your rocket, you know, you do what you got to do. You you go where you need to go. We ain't got nothing to do. You go where you want to go. Mm -hmm. You on your own, pretty much. That's how I looked at it. Because, mm -hmm. you know, at the time, you know, um, they wasn't, you know, it's like, uh, we ain't Def Jam now. We right, gonna, right, right, we right, gonna, right, you know, right. now. Who's hosting when you did it? Comic View, who's hosting? Oh, uh, D.L. and Cedric. Oh, so you said the early part. Yeah, the yeah. early part. Okay, you did that. Okay. Yeah, so it and was Who hosted Def Jam? Martin was hosting at the time. Okay, well, okay, so you was on the early on both. <laughs> no, of I didn't do it with Martin. I came oh. later. Oh, so I thought, okay, because I remember you. I the wanted room. to do, do the one with Martin. Well, everybody wanted to do it with Martin. Yeah, that was the you light. You still doing shit out the box. Yeah, that, that, that was the light. If you did it with Martin, you, 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 you was working. Right, of course. Yeah, I, I did it with him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It, it, it was it, it was definitely hot back then. Well, that now that that's cool. Did, did did it did it catapult your career? Did you feel the definitely oh, yeah. difference between yeah, it? Yeah. What what was the difference between before you did Def Jam and after you did Def Jam? Besides the money, the treatment was better. Did you do better clubs or what was it about? No, I, you know, I was well, women busy. wanted you marry her. They wanted you marry her. I, know, I was time. busy. Yeah. Okay. I was. I mean, <laughs> I was busy. Right. Right. You worked I a lot. Mean, you worked a lot. I was busy. I'm talking about. I end up I, I, I end up going across the water doing international content. Let me ask you something. This is the old old stuff, but what was the most money you made in a year doing comedy? When you was hot? Hundred thousand? No. More than that? Yeah. Two hundred thousand? More. I'm about to slap the shit out of you in here. No, I'm I ain't got motherfucking money. Man. I, what? Put it this I way. I don't know damn shit about Jamario then. Put it this way. Like <laughs> when, when my name got mentioned in the record. Right. Um, I end up making a half a million dollars just my name in the record. Man, I'm a slip boy. I'm not lying. Boy, I, 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 I believe was, you. I mean, I mean, it was like that. Damn. I was busy. I was busy. Ooh, hey. I was I'm never kidding. home. I, was I ain't never done home. three years together made half a million dollars. I did that. Shame on you, man. But the thing about and, and that's the mistakes I had learned, you right. know, you, I, I didn't right. I didn't manage my money well. You spend on cars and, ju and I jewelry. Did. I see, I, look at you, bling bling, the fuck out I, of my show. I did ignorant stuff. Like what? Give me the most ignorant thing you bought. I did ignorant. I was living in Buckhead. I, I was ignorant. That's why. Well, because the white folks was ignorant about Buckhead. Well, it wasn't very. I was a very few. It was only very few blacks living in Buckhead. That's, the there's a reason why. No, you shit. The crime was low. Yeah, so I, I I was doing crazy stuff. That ain't crazy. Name a, a crazy purchase. You, you, you ever bought something crazy that you regretted? Yeah, you I, 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 I leased a jet one time. Nigga, boy. <laughs> a jet? Yes. Yeah, that was crazy. What were you, why'd you get a jet? What were you I was trying for? to impress this streamer from another city. Nigga, jet? You could have bought her a new pair of shoes to impress her, man. Man, it was like. Jamero, that's she crazy. She was so, you know, for real, she was fine. What other city is she from? I want to kind of see what we're. I can't remember. What New city. York City or the New York City nah, guy, girl, LA was, girl. You got an LA girl like that? No, nah, nah, man, it was. Somebody. No, you know when you buy a jet, when you lease a jet, you remember who it was. Yeah. I ain't say you ain't say her name, but I want to know what kind of city. Girl. You can't tell me she's I from. I can't Dalton, remember. Dalton, Dalton, this Alabama. long time ago, I just did that just to impress her. She from Greenville, North Carolina. You no know, hell, no. Nah. That's what I'm trying to say. I know you got Vegas. Well, I, I can send you on Greyhound on that. Ooh, <laughs> Greenville, Greenville. <laughs> but no, I did that. You know. Wow, you leased a jet one time. Where'd y'all fly to? I ain't fly, I flew her here. Boy, 
Boy, yeah, you're right. You're right. You did some crazy stuff. That was I did crazy. some crazy. Yeah, that's, that's, that's some crazy. I did some ignorant stuff. Probably the craziest thing I ever bought probably was a wedding ring. <laughs> yeah, I was married for like nine years. Take that off, man. That was a crazy thing right there. I know you saved and everything, but I wasn't saved. <laughs> yeah. Look at that. Look at that. No, I'm as amazing. But I'm in a good place, yeah, though. Yeah. Huh? I mean, I'm, I'm in a good place. I was heading self destruction. Oh, man. I'm glad you stopped. Yeah. Yeah, I was heading self destruction. Really? Like, wow. Like. What years was this? Like, like, like I remember you. I don't remember. Like, late like, late know, 90s? It was nine, 90s, man. You know, I, you know, I was in the car accident. I heard. I yeah, heard. I was in the car accident two days before my birthday. It was '96, the same year uh, Pop got killed. Right, 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 right. Yeah, in fact, didn't you do a show when you got, you got? Well, you know, Cedric and I was in Vegas at the time. Yeah. Yeah, no, uh, when he got killed. Did you see it when he got shot? No, you know, we was leaving. Cedric people was going one way, and then, uh, and we was going another direction. To your jet? Mm-hmm. No. Nah. <laughs> no, I ain't gonna you, you're in Vegas, you're big, you're in Vegas, no, you're big. Uh, we was going another direction, and next thing you know, someone said, hey man, Tupac got shot. I'm like, what? And we didn't know how serious it was right, till you sure. know, you get back to your room and it's... it's Start seeing it, yeah. But it was funny about that, that whole era, it's like, it was so crowded, it was like Freak Nick, and, mm -hmm. and, and no one... I didn't understand that story. Well, everyone's around, but no one sees nothing. Basically. No one. I didn't understand that. Yeah. I, to this day, that don't make sense to me. Wow. Wow. Okay. 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 Yeah. Well, that's. Uh, yeah. Well, I did a video with Pac. You know, of course, right before yeah. he went, and I, and I, I saw him at a comedy club. Maybe about. I think I saw him in August, and he shot, got shot in September. Yeah. 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 Gaddafi wanted me to meet him. He's one of his rappers. Mm. Outlaw. Shout out to them. But um. Yeah, man. Wow. Wow. So your name has been mentioned in a couple of raps. Yeah, several. A couple of rappers have mentioned your name. Yeah. From, I mean, Missy Elliott, I think it was, Kanye. Yeah, Timberland like, Magoo. Timberland uh, Magoo. Uh, up the Jump. Uh, Jones up yeah, Jump the Boogie. Up Jump the Boogie remix. I remember that. Yeah, yeah. Gucci Man. That must be a good feeling, man. Gucci Man. Oh, man. I'm sorry. I'm yeah, you, sorry. You, you I'm Atlanta. sorry, brother. Excuse me for being so intelligent. <laughs> Excuse me, oh, Gucci man, 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 man. man, man. Uh, man. Damn, See, man. I can't even, I can't even talk slang like right, that right, no right. more. Well, damn. Okay. Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah. Um, well, we know yeah. who you're talking about, though. Yeah. So, oh. so, 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 people don't know you did a lot of stuff behind the scenes. Sony you did voiceovers. I did Sony. some voiceovers. Sony. That's real a, money, right? That's a yeah, real thing, yeah, right there. Man, I, that's my passion, right there. How voice. can you say you can't speak, but you do a voiceovers? What that? What that about? When they give you that check, you learn how to speak. You gonna speak, enunciate. You gonna enunciate everything. Damn. Your, your, your heart gonna be. And plus, I had a passion just bringing great product. I love right. that. I love that. Right, right, right. Yeah. Now, you said so you won a Choice Award. I've heard about that. What, what yeah, well, that? I did a movie called uh, Big Ain't Bad. Yeah, I was social producer on that project. Okay. I helped out on, and we shot it here in Atlanta in um, 2004. Right, right. We won Audio Choice Award at the Hollywood Black Film Festival. So that was really, really. Look at uh, that, man. It was a really great thing. There's, there's it, a lot. There's a lot about you that people just don't know, man. Nah, you know, that, nah. that just didn't. So, so after the, 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 the wasting the money, mm -hmm. what made you come to realization that this ain't, you got to change the way you are? When, when you go broke. Oh, damn, that can help. Yeah. And, and what does broke mean to you? I mean, when broke, I mean, like. $20 of your name? No. No, nigga. I mean, I say broke. I mean, <laughs> Damn, I mean, you, you had to borrow twenty dollars from somebody. No, I mean broke. I'm talking I mean, about. How can you be, nigga? And after you borrow, that's like broke. when you have a great bank account and and the bank people like, don't come up in here. Your account is closed. Ooh -wee. It was summertime, no shows, no nothing. That and that I phone, just, that phone don't rain no Ooh. more. What was you living at that time? I got evicted. So, you, so how the phone ring outside? No. <laughs> you, shit. You, 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 you no phone. No, no. I had to pay phone back in the days. The pay phone. Oh, okay, okay. You know, you, I used to pay phone for my office. Nick, you ain't had no. Oh my God, you, you must have slept in that. All. I, damn. Okay. Yeah, okay. I, I, okay. I, I, well, yeah. damn. Broke. Broke. Yeah, it was broke, man. And then the crazy thing about people think you're still rich. They're like, Jamario, Jamario, what's up? You like, nigga, my stomach growling. No, uh, I mean. So you went broke, bro. See, now you, now you ain't. Now you no, just, I did. I, I did. was broke, broke before. No, I went broke for real. Mm. I did, man. I, did. I was, oof. I remember. I, I got I'm, not, I'm not faking it. You know, a lot of people can fake it, but. We don't need to fake the broke, broke. I mean, yeah, shit. I went broke, man. But my broke was different than your broke. But, you know, it was a good thing. For I couldn't me. make a last payment on my Mercedes, you know. I yeah. got a friend of mine loaned me some money, but that was tight. Yeah. yeah. 
I got, you know, I paid But the I learned. I learned. <laughs> I learned. You don't know nothing about Pierre. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> but no, okay, so the bro. So what, um, from there, how'd you get back up to, you know, from being broke to where um, you are now? I, I mean, I, I, I submitted and surrendered myself to God, man. Okay. You know, that was, that's when. You was living foul before that? Yeah. Okay. So I changed and uh, I wanted to, you know, do better. I left the business for a little while. Okay. To, Understood. You know, mm-hmm. because I knew, like, I was in some really dark, in a dark place at the time. I was in a situation that was not good. Unhealthy for you. Yeah, so the I weed, decided weed. that. The white, white? Huh? The white, white, the weed, weed? No, I didn't do no drugs. Oh, okay, okay, okay. What I'm trying to you know, I never do no drugs. Okay, the liquor, liquor? No, no, just. What kind of problem was you in, man? Wait a minute, I was, I, was, I, I was in a bad relationship. Uh, no, with, with a couple of them. Yeah, yeah few, okay, few, yeah, yeah. Few. We'll, we'll drain that pocket, brother. Oh, Being yeah, the right so. one, woo-wee, drain that pocket, let me yeah. tell you. Yeah, man. I mean, you got to, you got to do. I feel you on that. But it's funny. You think that you know when you're coming up, you want that cars, yeah. women, jewelry. Yeah. All that, I mean, that, I mean, you, that's what we strive for. Uh huh. But later on, when you realize like it's gone, when it's gone, right? And and that woman is not there. Mm-hmm. Then you realize, okay. Then now, did this happen? After the car accident, I mean, like right after the car accident, or you just was still good for a while. Like when did this, you know, it's '96. Yeah, it, I actually said it was '96. It, it happened. Um, did you hit rock bottom and you figure, man? I, need I hit rock you. bottom going to like really, really, uh, 1999 to 2000, early 2000. It was '99 to 2001, yeah, 2002, about, about 2000, right? Yeah. And in between that time, when you had to get away. What were you going? What were you doing to make a living? Nothing, man. I just, How can you never make making nothing? But you know, when you, but the Pierre, the What's thing. all the time, making nothing. You Pierre, can something. Pierre, you know, people, you know, That's when you, now. what the word I'm looking for, when you're in denial. Oh. You know, when you're in denial, you feel like, uh, I ain't worried about this. I didn't, I didn't want to work. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't. Right, but where were you living? How were you eating? I was living with family. Oh, okay, okay, that's support. So people like your family yeah, support yeah, you. Yeah. Wow. And between those those years, but you said 2001, you, got, you started getting out, 2002, you started getting out of that funk? No, it took a while, man. Because oh, really? that, that, when I was in that bad relationship, I was so angry and mad for many years. And I just wow. thought, I didn't want to be bothered. I didn't want to be around nobody. Really? Wow. That thing, uh, that I thing was, drained I, me like I had, that. I, 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 I kind of ghosted for a while. Really? I ghosted for some time. How did you feel when you was away and people recognized you still and thought you, wait, where you working at now? I mean, and that was another thing, man. I, it, it even got worse because I, I'd be going somewhere, I just want to sit there and tell people just out of nowhere. Just. Sure. You created a monster with your name. That whole I couldn't thing. go nowhere yeah. for some time. Even during my early years, now it's like, I can't even get no peace. Right, right, right. And bro. I was not in a good place. Wow! Wow! You know what? What made you? How did you pull out of that thing? Because I know some people going through some bad stuff right now. I, I went. I, I submitted myself to Christ, man. I said um, I wanted better, and I just like let Him do what He do. So okay, okay. So when you do that, you sit there, and you say, you know, Christ take my take over, and then you go to sleep, wake up, you just start every day. It's gonna, it takes it. time. Right, it's ta- right. It takes time. It, it's not gonna happen overnight. Okay. Because one, you have to be honest with yourself. Sure. Sure. You know, you could be in church. Praising God, but if you're not honest with yourself, mm. you're still gonna be in that right spot. But it took time and you know a couple of years it took you till you got to the yeah. point where you where you really when I realized it. like okay, I believe what I'm saying because I was fighting God. Sure. I was fighting God, man. I was fighting God like man, please God, you gonna you gonna give me back what I work hard for? Wow, okay. you know uh, I want what I want back because I work hard. That's how I was feeling. Right, right, you know? right. Wow, wow. That's just, that's just how it was, man. Right, right, right. And then, and then, you started seeing things change slowly, yeah, but surely. Yeah, slowly. Things started work. changing. Right. And, uh, did you did you go away from the comedy club, like the the, the secular clubs, and start doing like churches only? Is that what? No. What well, I, I did some churches, but I still went pop in. You know, pop in. Because I have a I have a friend, uh, uh, um, a well known com- gospel comedian. I remember one day we had a discussion. He said, I don't do no place that sell liquor. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I don't do comedy clubs that sell liquor and stuff mm-hmm. like that. Clubs that sell liquor. And I was like, but you know what, brother? Didn't Jesus go down to the worst places to try to get them? Because if you yeah. go to places that are just 
perfect and nice and everything, then mm. what are you, you just, you know, you know what I'm saying? Aren't you there to try to maybe change something? In some places, I say do all secular shows, but when you go to, you have to, you, you have to be honest with yourself. Okay. You know what you, what you, what you walking into, mm. you know what I'm saying? Mm. Yes. Yeah, you know, it's don't fool yourself. You right. know, like, you know, they're going to say alcohol. Right. You know you're going in there. Right, or, right, right. You know, um, even John the Slocum, who's who's brilliant with yes. that with that Christian comedy, he he did clubs with alcohol in it. Right, 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 right. But right, he right. still t he changed the game and let people know I am a clean comedian. Right, right. And he said I, I made y'all laugh. Sure. I wasn't cursing. Right. So he he was brilliant with it. Right, that. right, right. I, I think it's genius when you could be that kind of comic and go into a secular place. Yeah. Just like me. I am. I, I can. I, I can do blue material. I can go edgy, dirty. Yeah. But you know what? You bring me to a, a, a church. I clean it up. I've yeah. done forty-five minutes. I've done a couple of churches. You know, many churches. They're like, you're really funny. I'm like, you just tell me what, I, what you need me to do. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And and I don't know if I'm wrong for that. But I might say, just be clean and all the time. I don't like people who. I personally I ain't a fan of people who say, don't curse. Why you got to curse to be funny? You know. I, we see you do act without cursing and being funny. Well, I was working harder to try to be clean. But that wasn't who I am. I don't think a word should determine. No. You know, you know, come to see the material because if you're only listening to the curse words and not the material, then you're doing yourself a disservice at a comedy club. Do you, right. know, you know what I'm saying? Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. If I come, you know, to me. Now I'm not saying, you know, some don't want but to you know, curse here's words, the thing. Here's the thing. Like me and you, like we at a point in our lives where we don't have to curse. We can go yeah. on. We can go on stage. And and do what we do. The young comics coming up, <laughs> right. they right. they don't have the education like right. you and I have. Right. We can we we can go and do certain things, right? And say so that's what they, that's what they miss. But what's wrong? What, what's wrong with a comic that curses? That's funny. Like Cat Williams curses all the time, but he's hilarious but, and brilliant. But uh, Dave Cat, Chappelle curses. See, Dave Chappelle thing. curses and brilliant. Here's Kevin the, Hart curses and brilliant. But here's the thing, though. They do that because that's what people want to hear. That's how they keep the attention No, on. I think they want to hear funny stuff. It just happens to come with curse words. Yeah, they but they don't have funny. to, but they know they don't have to do it. It can still sell. I don't know. I don't know. I think I don't so. Know. I don't know. I don't know. I that think is, so. That, that's like watching a porno with a condom on. I mean, you know, I mean, it's what it is, but... <laughs> I mean, I, don't, I mean, okay, this that. But no, mommy, I mean, take it off. We, we really doing it here. <laughs> but you could, they could do it. They, you know, they could do it. You know? I hear you, but I, I can, I get it. I just won't let, I just won't let word bother me. A word, a curse word, bother me to the point where that's just me. Because I'm not gonna let a word control me. You know what I'm saying? I'm just not. That's not gonna be. It's not about control. Why well, is about, it? If I'm pissed off because I hear you, you cursing. I'm pissed off. Well, I said funny stuff. I don't give a damn. I heard the curse words. Well, then the curse words control. I mean, it's like this. It's not, it's the way you use the curse words. But some churches don't want to hear you at all. I did a, I did a family show one time and I said, yeah. damn in hell. And the lady said, you were funny on but don't say damn in hell. Yeah. What? But see, you got to know that church market. What is well, it? Yeah, yeah you got to know. It's like, if you don't know that church market, then you don't know what you're doing. You, you don't know that audience. But when you know that audience, you can really right. go in there and right. do it, and Clean. you can say right. a curse word. Oh, ooh. but but you, if you know how to comment fly, it, comment fly. Okay. That's all right. We, 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 your wife is helping you with that class. <laughs> <laughs> you, 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 you fucking me? I can't say the word now. Camouflage. That's yeah. all right. We don't even worry about it. We yeah. know what we're doing here. But no. <laughs> so yeah. All right. So I just say when it comes to that kind of stuff. You know, I, I come to watch a comedian make me laugh. If you can be clean and make me laugh, I'm happy. Yeah. If you're dirty and make me laugh, I'm happy. I come to laugh. I don't care how you get me there, just get me there. I'm not going to tell you to dissect your act. You know what I'm saying? If you're clean and you're corny, get up off the stage. You're horrible. Mm -hmm. If you're dirty and you're not funny, get up off the stage. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. I feel you on that. But now, okay, so things have stole, uh, things have said, this is, uh, so you, think you, 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 you claim that some jokes were stolen? Was Not my joke. Oh, what was it? No. But, you know, coming in that time period, you know, a lot of comedians' jokes was getting stolen. Okay. Yeah. Back in the, yeah, that's yeah. true. Yeah, you know, that, you know, I was in the era, era where you had to really p p protect your product. Sure. You, you, I, you I know, you know, because so few comedians' material got put in some sitcoms, you know, I, you know. Really? Yeah. I don't know what you're talking about. What are you talking about? 
Yeah. Well, it's a panic room, man. Yeah. A panic room, brother. Yeah. Name one joke they got in a sitcom. I ain't here. going in and well, that, man. Why, why, you can't tell me one joke? I ain't going in and that. Oh, you scared, man. I thought, what the real Jamario? I, I don't know nothing about Jamario. Yo, I, yeah. I, I, I'm a different Jamario. Oh, well, I should have got you a couple years ago. Shit, when you stressed yeah. and, and messed yeah, around. But, I Damn. mean, but back in them days, mm, you know. I don't know the joke that was stolen. I'm trying to think of a joke that was stolen. I've said it, but all right. If you, if you, Jamero says there's a joke that was stolen. Some jokes that was stolen. Well, put it this way. You be around. The Wayne's brother took some jokes. Nah, nah. Martin nah. took some jokes. Nah, 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 nah. Oh, I'm trying to wear it. Family Matters took some jokes. Nah. Too Close for Comfort took some jokes. <laughs> I ain't going to go for too much, too much line. A is enough, living single. You don't know what you're talking about. You may not know what you're talking about. <laughs> all, right. all right. Whatever, Pierre. No, whatever. Well, okay, See, so right. you know the light skinned folks always starting shit. No, that ain't shit. No, no, we try to get to the bottom of some shit. That's what it is. No, I mean, I yeah. mean, we're we talking about real. Okay, no, yeah. We, 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 we camouflage in real. Yeah. <laughs> that's that, oh, that's a good one. That's what we're going to do. No, yeah. but, okay, so you got through the, the dark period in the, in the early 2000s. That's 20 years ago. Well, how'd you come up and do, you know, you, I see your life has changed, you know, with, yeah, you yeah, know, you know, yeah, you want to talk about the situ situation you're in now, which is fine if you want to. But yeah, I mean, I mean, that, I mean, God put me in a great place. Put you in a, 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 a great right. place. Man. And I you're much know. better place now than you were before. Oh, yeah, much, much, much better. Financially, mentally, spiritually? Every, every little bit. Not, not financial like I want to, oh, but right. I'm, well, I'm well, happy. Well, somebody, somebody Google his uh, account. Uh, you don't need to Google mine. Yeah, I'm going to okay. tell you straight up. Uh, okay. <laughs> I think he say, <laughs> Google his, this shit say he need a job. <laughs> that's not what you worth. You worth needing a job. But yeah. no, um, that's okay. Okay, that's. Uh, I'm good. I'm good. I'm better. Okay, you, you're better. You got the, you, for what, you was a gigolo back in the days. You cleaned yourself, you cleansed yourself out. <laughs> you cleansed yourself out. You're a one, one, one man woman now. No, one know. woman man. One yeah, woman man now. That's one. Right, that's good. And that's a beautiful thing. I, I met your one. wife before. Beautiful woman, yeah. man. You got lucky. Yeah, I did. I don't know why she's slumming like that. She must have got cataracts or something. She picked you in shit, but I don't know how you act for real. Man, <laughs> don't 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 start something you can't finish. Okay, I, well, I, okay, I know. I'm, 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 don't you're start right. something you can't. Right, right, right. But no, you, you're lucky. Now she's gonna be using that against right. me. Right, she's supposed to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But you, no, I'm, I'm. But that's I'm, good. You feel like you're, you're lucky. You got a good woman. You got yeah, a good kind of stuff. Man. Good was stuff, blessed, brother. Man. I was thankful. Now, I'm, I'm happy for you, man, because a lot of us didn't get to come through this, man. No, you, you know this comedy man. world. There's a lot of no. people unfortunately passed away on drugs. Did not yeah. come through it. Could not sit there, a healthy looking young man like yourself. Yeah. Still got it going on. You know, a lot of us, you were 30 years in the game, man. You know what I'm saying? To yeah. have that, man. Yeah. You should be proud of yourself, brother. Yeah, I'm, I'm thankful, man. Yeah. You know, I, I, I'm, sometimes I, my wife always said, you, you think you're living a luxury life. Some she always say, right. luxury life. Right. Uh, however she put it. You do? She make all that money? Yeah, I be kind of like, I be laughing because. Okay, okay. she don't want to make the money. You don't know a damn thing about your wife. Nah. <laughs> you don't know that bank account. She keep that. The, she keep, she get a little money in the sock. Okay, I need, I need the I need the bed and shit. Okay, she she know what it is when she live with a comedian. God bless yeah. you, women who live with comedians, because we can be up and down, boy. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. The yeah. fact that you're in a good place mentally is most important because most comics are jacked up mentally. I'm yeah, gonna tell you, yeah. damn, scream me. Yeah. A lot of comics is fucked up mentally. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I can name a whole bunch of rack of them that are foolish with it. So to say there, you're sitting here mentally together, man, I'm happier for that than anything else with your career, bro. Right. You know what I'm saying? To right. come through this, still look good, and still doing your thing, yeah. man. And I appreciate you even coming on my show, bro. For oh, real, man, man, you know me, you boys, you know. Come on, I, man. You know, you told me about it. I said, man, you know, I'm down for oh, man, it. Man, and I appreciate know. it, man. You know. I've had a whole bunch of people from Comedy View come through, man, but not, not a whole bunch. Legends come from Comedy View. Mm -hmm. I got a couple of people, Jeffrey Browns, you know, so many people coming through, uh, yeah. Don D.C. Curry. To Chucky Ducky, to you know, you know what I'm saying, hamburger, and you now, man. Yeah. And I found out something I didn't know a little about Jamar. Yo. Yeah. Everybody didn't think that you know they don't know a damn thing about Jamar, but Jamar told us a little bit about himself. Man. Yeah. I mean, it's it's no time. It's it's no more time to, to uh, if I'm going to die, I want to make sure the truth is is out. Okay. So what niggas in sitcom they stole the jokes for you, before you die? Okay. <laughs> what jokes are still in sitcom? You're lying. Okay. <laughs> You gonna die tomorrow if you don't tell me that joke, man. You tell me what joke you gonna die with you. Nah, nah it's man. all it's all good, man. No, brother, I am very happy that you came through, man. Yeah, but you um, know, I love you, man. You know, I you that. you one of the comedians that you doing your own. Right. You right, know what I'm saying? Right. You did your own movie. Right. You doing your own uh, podcast. Yeah, yeah, I yeah, mean, yeah. you doing that Tyler Perry move. Ooh, ooh. I mean, I mean, you own your own. You're right. I do. I do. You own your own, man. I mean, very few of us. You know, when I had my radio show, 
Mm -hmm. I own my own. Nice, nice. Yes, yes, yes. And, I, and, and that's good to do that, man. And I ain't waiting for Hollywood no more. I mean, damn that. That's, that's been over a while, man. We're going to do it here. As long as we support each other. Yeah. I go on other people's podcasts. I help other people out, man. It's because it's like we got to help each other out, man. You know what I'm saying? To get to that next level and pull each other up, man. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And constantly pull each other up, man. So um, I heard a crazy quote about somebody saying, I, uh, I catch the elevator up and send it back down for people, whatever it was. It's kind of dope. So I get what it is. Go up and bring people, help your people up, man. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. So I appreciate it. I, I'm thankful, man. Now, before we go, we do a couple of things. We do a thing called IG Creeping. And we, we go on your IG page. Oh, Lord. Don't worry about it. Yeah, and we're going to find some stuff. Oh, well, I ain't worried about it because I, I don't, I don't, I, I, you I don't. You know what? You should worry about that right there. When you was pogo jumping, yeah. man, what in the hell? Somebody, what you, 62 years old, pogo jumping. No, me, uh, right, 59. That, that's, that's our grandkids. Is know? that what it is? Yeah, yeah, well, it takes a while on my show to get the shit together. You know? yeah, yeah, we are. Uh, so we get the idea what it was. You was pogo jumping. You know, on, what on happened? Um, uh huh. And this right. Damn, boy, what, what is that? Some Hold on. I know where you, you live off Old National, nigga. I know this whole <laughs> community is. Don't lie. Yeah. Yeah, yeah Fayetteville yeah, Road. Behind yeah, Fayetteville yeah, Road. exactly. Yeah. Yeah, you know yeah. where you at. I know that you live behind Fayetteville Road. Yeah. You live off Fayetteville Road. I bet yeah. you that much. Yeah. Yeah, uh, I know. Cool. I'm gonna let you think like that. Nigga, I know that house right like gazebo, nigga. I know I used to live right next to that gazebo. Yeah, okay. And all that right. bike been there for a long time. Uh, all right. Uh, and hell, Jamaria, what are we doing here, brother? I was doing a uh, a wedding? A uh, skit okay. for a pastor. Okay, okay. Well, what, what was your character name on that thing uh, right there, I boy? I can't think of that name. It should have been it, something, it, man. It, it was, in the comments, let's tell, let's give him a, a name for that character in that comments. Yeah. Uh slick and Sly uh, and stoned. Yeah, I forgot. Sly and is stoned. Okay, that, that, that's fine. Damn. Well, that's what the, you do a little craziness on your uh, on your social media. I do a quick thing too called uh, spin the wheel. We always get the people come on the show, spin the wheel. So we we got a couple of things on this wheel, man. We want people to do. You might want to tell about if you still can talk about this. How you lost your virginity? If you remember back then. Yeah. Uh, a real secret you need to tell us. You can win some money. Uh, book passage, a celebrity crush. You make a little phone call to your celebrity crush if it lands on that. Uh, you can tell us who you trade places with and why. You can tell us uh, the biggest lie you ever told. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So let's see what we got for us. For my man Jamari, he's gonna play spin the wheel. Let's see, he's gonna get that drum roll going, y'all. For you, spin. Oh, spin and, hold on, hold on, and put a real spin to it. Ready, y'all? Ready? Hold on. Ready? Ah. Yeah, yeah, baby. That come on, let that fall on. Oh, a celebrity crush call. You know how you do this? That's what it is. Give me a phone, somebody. So we know the greatest crush in your life is your wife. We get that. But I'm I'm a director. I want you to act. You gotta think of a celebrity. You, you know, you can say you got a crush her, but you want you want to mack her. You got 20, you got two minutes to either get her to come to your house or her to come you to go to her house. How would you do that? If you would call a celebrity. You serious, bro? Yeah, yeah, we all do that. You want me to do this live? Right, 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 right now. Right. This ain't, your wife is the queen, brother. We know that. Yeah. So you're an actor. I'm a director. I need you to do this. So name a celebrity that you just, just name a cele female celebrity that you just think is cool. No, I ain't doing it. Come on, name a celebrity, man. Name a celebrity. No, I ain't doing that. Sade. He said Sade. Your wife said Sade. So pick the phone up. Act like you call it Sade. And let's hear how you, just, as an actor, I'm, I'm trying to get you in a movie role as a Mac, man. <laughs> So you either gonna call her to tell her to come to your house, or you to come to her. You got up to two minutes to hear how you would talk to her on the phone if you're a good actor. Silence on here, everybody. Silent. Act like you, act like you call the number. Act like you, oh, you, not, you, not just dial the number. No, just act like you, you know, fake dial. But yeah, yeah, just dang it, boop, boop, boop. Quiet, y'all. And now, Shade, ask. Let me see how good of an actor you are. We are gonna see how. And quiet and action. Yes, my speech with Shade, please. This is a Jamiria. Oh, louder. you can't hear me? Yeah, a little louder. Yeah. Well, I'm sorry, you're going to have to turn up your volume. Oh, all right. Mm. Hey, Aunt Chade, how you doing? This is Jamario from Atlanta. Yes. Listen, I know you're coming to town uh, next month, and um, I was wondering if it's possible. Uh, can you give me two tickets to your concert? For me and my wife. Okay. <laughs> Will you do that? Yeah, uh, it's our anniversary that weekend. And also, you you and Stokely, y'all good friends, right? Can you t ask them to come and do a guest spot? And you know Kim too, don't you? She loves Kim, so can you? Oh, by the way, you friends of Jill Scott. Oh. How about Legacy? How about Fantasia? Okay, well, you, if you can get Kim and Stokely to come and do a gas spot, we appreciate that. Hmm? Oh, it's all good. 
Well, thank you. Let, you know, let me talk to her before you hang up. Huh. Yeah, please let me talk to her. Your crack is whack. <laughs> I don't know what this nigga was talking about. I was trying to get him to holler at you, but he, you know, wanted to bring his wife to the party, so I don't know what kind of party that is, Callie. You know what I'm saying? We know we did baths together. So let me tell you something. Um, your man ain't going to be busy that weekend, and don't give him no tickets. Now, here's the thing. I know you're coming to Atlanta, and I appreciate that. I know that. And I know, you know, after you do the press conference and all that, you're going to be tired. I know you stay in the Regency. I'm staying at the Holiday Inn. Um, I would say, you know, sometimes you don't want to do, you know, do it big because everybody's going to be looking for you at the Regency. Everybody's going to be looking at you for the, at the Holiday Inn. So um, I say, is it the Saturday you're coming in? Let's say by 11 o'clock on Saturday, I'll have the door open and be cracked open at the Holiday Inn, room 1409. It's, no, that's the first floor. It's just 14 floor. Yeah, it's not the 14th floor. Yeah, that's what it is. All right. And bring, um, bring the whole Nisi outfit, you know, from uh, BAPS. And I'll bring it out. Uh, no, 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 that's my nigga. He's, he's smoking. He over there smoking. Yeah. Uh -huh. All right, got you, babe. All right, girl. I'll see you later. All right. I think, yeah, that was Jamario. I know he's tripping. Yeah, you know, you ain't, you ain't down for the threesome. I get that. You just want to get to me. All right. Thank you, bye. Yeah, that's how it works. But thank you for, for calling her up to give it to me and shit. But now, Jamario, I thank you so much, man. I appreciate it, brother, man, for coming on the show. Thank you so much. Yeah. I learned a lot about you, brother, I didn't know before, man. No, just stay right there for a second. We, uh, but again, we appreciate it, man. Thank you so much. Long live your career and your life, yeah. man, and your lovely situation with your wife, man. Keep it going, brother. I, yeah. I, I'm happy for you, for real. Yeah, I'm, I'm happy for that. you. I, I, man, that's what we do. That's what we do here. Y'all, thank y'all for watching another episode of Pierce Panic Room. Don't forget, man, to subscribe. Hit the notification bell. <laughs> And uh, we'll see you next week with another great guest, man. Thank you so much. We have my man, Jamario Jamario. And now you do know something about the damn Jamario. All right, y'all? I love y'all. We'll holler at you later. Out. What's up, world? This is Jamario. Is Jamario. Y'all don't know nothing about no damn Jamario. I survived at the PL Panic Room. Thank you, God, in the name. You can subscribe at the Pierre Panic Room. Just all you gotta do is hit that notification right there, that button right there, bam. And we appreciate you, thank you.